You saw Texas State struggling on third down, conversions 10th in the league. Vitt under pressure and going down back at the 37-yard line. That was Logan Latin coming in, the backup buck safety. Well, that time the Wallhawks is out there. They decided to sell out of an all-out blitz. Watch the blitz. You see him coming inside. You got a corner blitz coming and a linebacker from the inside. Just not, just too many people for the offense to pick up to get the defense to back away from the line of scrimmage because Texas State, they're just crowding the line of scrimmage now. They're not, they're not going to let you run the football. This time it's Marcus Green, and Marcus Green knows what to do when he's got space. Near side, knocked down. At the 12-yard line, Marcus Green finally chased down by Griffin, but that's the big play the Warhawks were looking for. Yeah, it's an outstanding play, a lot, a great run by Marcus Green. You watch at the line of scrimmage, watch how many tackles he breaks before he gets loose. You know, he's got one right there. You got to get him to the ground. They don't do it. They miss tackles, a second tackle. Now it just becomes a foot race, and Marcus Green almost gets in the end zone. His longest run on the year was just 11 yards. Check it, they're going to give him a first down. So first and goal for Evans. And that into the end zone is Austin Vaughn. And the Warhawks with the counter punch. Austin Vaughn scoring his second touchdown of the year. Did a good job reading inside. You'll see him when we show a replay. You watch him moving inside, bouncing around and finding a little crease. Didn't need very much, but he got enough to get in. Fifth-year senior out of Plano, Texas, 6'1", 205. Loss of two. Vitt, near side, caught and then dropped. Oh, what a play. That was Nick Ingram. He's starting in place of the leading tackler on ULM's team, Colin Turner. And, boy, Ingram made a super play. I think you, you got to take a shot sooner or later. you got to take a deep shot. Evans to Vaughn near side and he barrels his way down to the 42 yard line. London was, was there for the tackle but I think he fell forward enough for another first down and for Craig Ford. His long this year is 28. This one's good. He's got a new long for the year. 34 yard field goal. How about that? And Texas State We'll get the ball back, trailing by three. Warhawks with the football, 9.03 left here in the first half. And a nice carry on first down by Kayeen White, the sophomore from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Just his 16th carry of the year. Watch the blocking up front there. You see the everybody gets a man, it's a hat on a man, and just White needs just a crease to pick up some positive yards. You know, I'll tell you an interesting story about Kaim White once this play is over with. Marcus Green breaking a tackle, lowering his head and getting another 10 yards. Wow, what a play by Marcus Green. Marcus Green I, just figured out a way to get the ball in his hands. Talking about Kaim White, his dad and I played football together in high school. How about that? And then we also played together at LSU. His dad was. American at LSU and went on to be a second round draft pick of the Atlanta Falcons. Lyman White, that's his, that's his son. How about that? He's having a tough time with that. I think they, they, they may have to adjust the offense to, to, to get him back in some kind of a rhythm. Evans on the carry down to the 32 yard line. Waddy makes the hit, but 11 yards for Evans and another first down. Watch Evans, the defense collapses. He gets a good block from the guard pulling around just enough to get him inside and pick up a first down. Five touchdowns. Has time, has a man wide open. Touchdown! That was Batiste. Brandius Batiste and the sophomore from Roanoke, Louisiana has now made it a two-score game. Well, this was an excellent play call by the by ULM. They knew they were going to get the blitz, so what do they do? They bring in a second back. They go with two backs in the backfield, and the, what the, the backs are reading is that the guy on your side comes, you stay in and pick him up. If he doesn't, if he drops, you go out on the pass route. 
nearly surprising Georgia Southern last week. Midweek game. And Vitt is hit. Well, Fumbles. I think, I think they're going to say he was down because if you Vitt got hit from the backside, and uh, I think he's gonna, they're going to say he was down. They're really, that's that's going to be a sack. Yeah, Kerry Starks, you see him celebrating, and why not? Boy, he made a big-time play. Just a sophomore. ESPN 3 crew are so thrilled to have you on board with us on a Saturday night. Vitt. Far side complete to Haydell. What a play by Nick Ingram, starting in place of Colin Turner. And Ingram has had a nice night. Well, Ingram had to come up big. Colin Turner, you know, he was out. I think he had a leg injury, not able to play. And, you know, this was a guy that was your leading tackler. So he's out of the game. And it's a good job right here, just hanging on. I'm impressed with that ULM defense. Third in total defense. Third in passing yards per game. Here's a run by Vaughn. A bruising run, and he gets a little help from his friends. And he has a first down all the way up to the 47-yard line. Watch Vaughn running inside, just moving, finding little creases and making people miss in a real tight space. That's just good hard running. Then at the end, he just finishes the run off. Yeah, keep those legs churning. That's what Austin Vaughn did right there, the junior from Alexandria, Louisiana. And Vaughn again. Give him nine more. That offensive line doing a nice job. Nicholas Daniels makes the tackle, but not before Vaughn gets nine. It's been used as a decoy a couple times, but you got to respect him. One of the top performers in the league. Evans to Vaughn, this time out of the backfield. Griffin with another tackle. Nine more yards. He's going to be just shy of a first down. Near side, Marcus Green caught first down at the 13-yard line. Yeah, that's an excellent throw that time. Throw and catch picks up your first down. But one of the things Caleb Evans is going to see on film when he watches this, if he comes back to his running back, you watch out to the left. White's open by himself. They just leave him alone because everybody goes to number three. If, he, if Caleb Evans pulls it down and hits his running back out the backfield, that's a touchdown. Craig Ford, who kicked a season-best 43-yarder earlier in the game, connects from 30 yards. And ULM has extended its lead now to 20 to 7. 44 seconds left in the third, and ULM just tacking on some more points on the scoreboard. You would think they'd get him the ball a little bit more. Vitt in trouble, and he's sacked. That's Ty Shelby, his third tackle for a loss this year. Got a lot of pressure. They were able to keep him in the pocket until, the, until some help can arrive and get the sack. Big third down right here. Well, it sure is at the 35-yard line. I think if you can if you can hold them right here, I think Texas State's going to punt the ball away. 